SDLC versus Agile. Uh, both are the development model where we development are done and the product gets delivered to the customer. So SDLC is the things uh, methodology which are used till now and now currently pick the Agile. So how SDLC is different from the Agile that we have to understand and uh, how um, the Jenkins and the CICD part integrated with the Agile. That's we will see in this uh, whole syllabus. So first of things we will understand what is SDLC and how, what is Agile and what is the key difference between the Agile and SDLC. So SDLC works in the single flow where we will understand that uh, it will come to the requirement analysis and specification. Uh, then it's do the design phase then implementation and done by the unit testing and system testing and product get release and it will be do the maintenance mode. So each phase will be comes in the sequence then one phase will completed it will start the another phase. So this is a simple waterfall model where we will working till now and lots of products get released in this waterfall model. We are not saying it's a bad but uh, to the time constraint we need the sum of the improvement to have the consistency to for the uh, improvement in terms of the delivery faster improvement in terms of the quality and uh, the fast feedback in the from the micro, my, uh, market so we can do improve as as soon as possible so agile comes where the uh, res resolve that uh, same problem with the fast feedback so agile comes in the single cycle where it will be slow uh, small cycle where we will do the review deploy uh, so it will come to a requirement then it will do the design develop test deploy and review so this is the cycle where your the sort cycle will be take to the requirement design develop test deploy and review that means you are taking the some requirement and you are implementing that requirement you are testing that requirement you are closing that requirement but in a small cycle so you, you do it, a deployment very fast to the customer where sdlc uh, having the problem with the it will de do uh, deliver but it take them lots of time for example some of the projects taken the six month or one year where agile not believing that agile taking the two week or three week or a month so every month, every two week, every three week, it gets released to the customer. So you will get the early feedback and you can resolve that issue early as it possible. So this is the key difference between the Agile and uh, SDLC. So let's try to understand the difference. So testing team will wait for the waiting mode. So in SDLC, testing team will be waiting mode till the code delivered to the uh, testing team. So the phase will complete of the coding, then only it will be delivered. Where Agile having the sequence in the same team where testing team is in involved to the uh, development methodology and there is no tester or there is no developer all are working on the same methodology. So each and every one is integrated with the same thing which are going to deliver in a, some particular time. Team works on the small features of the code which deliver week or two. Same I told that so Agile having the uh, team which is small and they are working for the one features and it will deliver in the same uh, cycle. Testing go incrementally. So it will do incrementally testing. So it will adding the some testing in one feature add, second feature add, third feature. So it will testing will be do the incrementally testing. So it will uh, make the uh, so, uh, make the result issue of so we do not need to do the thoroughly testing for the each and everything. When you develop some specific feature, you have to do the testing thoroughly and you have to take care of everything. So it will be solved in a specific sprint. Software part will be instead of the test environment. So there is no difference of the testing environment or um, you when you get the some uh, build. So development team having a different build and testing team having a different build. So SDL saving that uh, integration part is missing where the Agile having the there is a no difference between the QA uh, development so all are working in the same build deployment so no need to create the new build so the consistency of the build resolved over here so the gaps between the dev uh, build and the QA build is resolved so you will get the same bug which getting the dev and see which getting the QA. Developer will test his code on the environment branch before code goes to the deploy branch. This is the key things. Developer, when developer do the anything, commit any solving issue or any new development, the first the step of development is he do the integration testing, he do the init testing 
and once it is passed it will uh, code commit to the master branch so this is the first thing so developer doing the testing before submitting his code jenkins do unit testing uh, integration testing deployment and deployment environment so once you integrated all these things so through this cycle through this staging you will do the all unit testing integration testing software uh, system testing and the deployment so all the uh, through enable through the jenkins so typical issues so developer needs to wait till the application test result along with the typical development challenges so in sdlc developer will get the late feedback of the bug and he might forget his code or he is not have the fresh memory of what he did so it takes some more time to resolve issue that's a typical more issue where the agile having the very fresh mindset very fresh memory so he can immediately resolve his code because he knows just because he written the code just before a day or two in case of build fail it's very hard to find the rcna solutions yes there are the lots of commits done in a simultaneously and there is a no integration process because the team are splitted bigger team is splitted in the bigger chunk of things and in agile the small feature the commits goes to the jenkins or commits go to the uh, git repository it will automatically trigger the build and build will give the immediately feedback that this build get passed or not so you can immediately see his build is passed if not passed then he can immediately see what's got wrong and he can fix that issue so this is the key difference of the SDLC in Agile, where the SDLC having the some uh, its own uh, good things, but because but market requirement we need a fast delivery to customers, so we are going with the Agile and lots of companies are moving to the Agile. 